Oh, get up, buddy. You can't hit him. I mean, you can't stomp on him. He won't let you, see, so I'll just do this. Come on, watch that all. Crazy legs is here. And then, like, watch this. This is my favorite part. Oh, you still have some health left. What do you know? I love what you do for me. It's like, come on. Fucking, am I playing a, like, a Capcom fighting game here? Why does this have to have, like, a tiny... He's like, yeah, I'd like some health in his back pocket and never gonna get hurt. Look, he's all tired. Oh. And that's all you can do in here for now, but that's... Even though it says unarmed style, it doesn't only help your unarmed. Like, uh, that cat flip thing, you can use that. The necklace, you can use it all over the place. Um, in all kinds of different styles. And so, uh, here's another side mission. This Chatterhead's, like, all, like, staring at these fucking lockers. Turns out he lost his key... Because if or he was going to give this uh, Yujo, this prostitute, something that was in the lockers, but he lost his key because a cat took it. Which I'm just like, that's pretty dubious to me. I don't, my cat never fucking picked up my keys and ran off of them. I, <laughs> I don't know, I've had a cat for like my entire life and never seen anything like that happen. They usually fucking just uh, sit there and, and give you weird looks most of the time. That's what I've noticed from cats. In fact, my cat's here right now, I don't know if you guys can hear her. She's going like, meow! Um... If you just run straight here, you don't have... In my fact, I'm like, ask around. You don't gotta ask around. There's just a guy over here you talk to. And he'll be like, hey, I saw a cat and he dropped a key over there. Now, you see, like, how it just goes... The, that little X has appeared and it says, Shirabiru, which means to, to check. Check something out. Um, that's because there's a key up there that you can barely see. See it kind of glinting up on that awning? Um, in this game, in, in Ryugo 3, you had to hit the R3 button and then, like, you go into, like, a first-person view mode, and you have to, like, zoom in on where the keys were. In this game, you just run up to kind of n near them, and you'll be able to grab them. Which is, I mean, it's easier, but it's also, like, you won't... You'll be like, what? Is there a key over there? What? You just gotta look for that, like, little... Shirabe to show up sometimes. It's a little strange, because, I mean, I swear I've grabbed keys where I'm just like, what? I don't... Was there a key there? You know, and then I had to, like, look around and go, oh, there was a... You know, next time I'll be like, oh, there's a key, like, way up there somewhere. I didn't even fucking see it. Um... So you bring him back to that guy, and he's gonna he's gonna be like, "Oh, you know what? Never mind." <laughs> You'd be like, "What?" And then like, um, the dumb thing about this is you went through a tutorial on how to use these these coin lockers in the first chapter, but for some reason, I love that he's gonna give. He's like, oh, "I was gonna give her like this water legend book or something that like you can use to make swords." Now the keys are gonna be all over the place. They weren't all over the place before. You went through a tutorial before on it, and then they just, you have to go through that side mission and do another tutorial. I'm getting another fucking... Uh, which one's this? Oh, that's Yosuke over there. He's hit, There's a dog sitting on his perfume bag. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, yeah. See how this one's right here? Those are the... The keys are now all over the map. They, they won't be until you do that side mission. Which is really kind of crummy. Get out of my way, you fucking loser. And uh, this guy hangs out over here. This is why I got the two pieces of food, because you're going to try to bribe the dog to get off his bag with food. There he is. He's like, hey, look at this dog sitting on my thing with you. All the dogs in this game are male. You can tell. Uh, <laughs> there's a way. Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> Sometimes they, they pretty much ram the penis right in your face. It's kind of like, okay, uh, thanks. You know? <laughs> Nothing better than being made uncomfortable by stupid animals. So, he didn't want it. I give him this other one, he's not going to want it. He's going to be like, oh, I hate you. Then all of a sudden, his master calls him, and he's like, oh, boy. And I it's supposed to be kind of funny, I guess. I don't know. But it's not really that funny. Could we shout about this? Jesus Christ. And, uh, yeah. Um, I think that's going to do it. Let me just double check here. Pretty sure that's actually going to do it. Um, there's one more Kakemawari for this chapter, but you can't do it yet. That's going to wrap up everything that you can do in Gion, except for the Pleasure District girls, the prostitutes, um, and the side missions that involve them. There are, like, uh, what, ten of them, I believe, in total? But, oh no, I think there's only, like, seven, kind of thing. But, before I go and do anything like that, I'm just going to advance the plot a little bit here. Well, it seems like my uh, my systems are still running and try to get get some stuff done. So he's going to go in here and he goes like, look down there, the hallway I can go into the... Uh, why is it saying there's letters? Oh, whatever. And um, he'd like to go 
into the city because he has to go back into Rakugai Machi, the suburbs. And the way that you go there is this weird back way. You kind of sneak in and out for no reason. Oops. Yeah, goody gum dust for me. Um, can I ever get my thing to work again? Sounds weird. My, my D-pad was like, no, I don't know exist. I don't know. And, oh, you know why? Because I switched controllers. Anyway, here I am. You might notice that he changes clothes because he can carry swords around now. Now, it's very dubious that they would actually be able to stop you from carrying your sword around. Because some would have had to have their sword on them or they, under penalty of death, actually. They had to always carry their swords around when they were outside. It's pretty stupid. Now I'm going to do some, some more side missionage here. I guess I'll start with this guy. This guy's name is Tanaka, and he's like the shaman, shaman that kill, which means like the insane for like worldly things merchant or something. And you're gonna want to buy his thing from him. He's he's selling you a bag that uh, it's supposed to be. You put your money in, you get like ten times as much money. So you just buy it from him, and you run away. You'll be like, oh, huh, should I put some money in there? And you just put it, get away from me, delivery chatterhead. And so he puts it in, and he's like, oh man, there's ten times as much, and he realizes, oh, there's just like a little reflective lining inside that looks like a mirror, it makes it look like there's a lot. Wah, 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 you know, whatever. Then you get experience points for that, which is kind of like, what? You know, why do I get experience for such a dumb thing? Um, this guy sells you food for your uh, turtles, you're going to want to talk to him um, if you want to go get all the food in the game, probably. I love that drunk dude over there with this kid going like, what the fuck, dad, come on, let's get out of here. Here's the Togarashi kid. Togarashi is made from uh, these peppers. It's the stuff that you can sprinkle on food. Um, and uh, if you guys eat other foods, like uh, especially if you eat like Indian food, Mexican food, or like Korean food, or uh, you know African food, you're gonna say, "Oh, it's spicy," and then you put it on and you'll be like, "What?" <laughs> I mean, I swear to God, Wendy's. In America here, the Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich is spicier than the fucking togarashi I've ever had in my life from Japan. They, they eat nothing spicy over there. It's ridiculous. So, she's going to sell it to you for a 10 mon. Let's go ahead and buy it. And as you go to go away, uh, I believe, or maybe, yeah, these guys show up to like, hey. They're like a bunch of lawless dudes. Well, it's, see, it's like a leader of, like, of gangsters, basically. It's like going to... They're gonna say like you made it too too spicy and now our stomach hurts so you gotta pay us all this money ha ha ha. Walk up there and talk to them and choose his top choice to save her, save her from these fucking idiots. And they're like yo, you know whatever. Why are you fighting me with that shitty sword? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was like, man, maybe I can do something fancy. I just, whatever. Kill your dumbass. And so they're like, whoa, and they're like, you know, apologize and everything. They, I think they even like buy a bunch of togarashi from her. So she's like, oh, gee, thanks, Mister. And then she vanishes off the face of the planet. Now, see this going on over here? You'd be like, what the hell is this? But this is like a. You need to get a revelation thing from her. So when you talk to him, he'll be like, "Oh, thanks for going to the wrong thing." He'll be like, "Well," when you talk to him, he'll be like, "Man, I don't, I don't know." He's like, "Something." I feel like I can get something from this, but I just something's missing. And what's missing is the the picture. Whenever you see a site like that, you're like, "What's going on?" You got to go get a picture, and then you'll be able to make a revelation out of it. So uh, yeah, you know. Um, I'll go do some more of the side crap down here. Why not, huh? This is what you do in this game, is you run around and do side crap for eternity. Where's the palanquins? You can't use them yet, though. It's kind of weird, but you can't. <laughs> 